welcome to Paula's cooking show. And what happened to Victor? Victor, um, he's on vacation right now. <laughs> I guess. And he wanted to come actually, he wanted to come. But he told me this uh, oh. gnocchi thing Keep going. some time ago and uh, I hope, you know, I can execute it very well. And uh, so he's going to be very proud of me. Where are you? I'm coming. Oh, okay. Look what I got. <laughs> uh oh, somebody got some food. There you go. And it's a gluten free pizza in a Christmas box. Mm. It's so cute. Look at the box. Okay. So, um, for this uh, gnocchi kind of uh, recipe, no, let me start again. It's gluten free gnocchi. Did you mention it's gluten free? Okay. So, this is gluten free gnocchi, and I'm using this flour which is uh, a collection of many things but it's a red meal and it's a <coughs> Bob's red meal uh, brand and uh, you can uh, read online what contains but I'm using this flour and it's been working very well and um, uh, for today's um, portion I'm using two potatoes I always use yellow potatoes, all right? No white potatoes, yellow potatoes, which can be Yukon gold or, I don't know, other yellow kind of yellow potatoes. Why? Because white potatoes are very, uh, they don't stick, whereas the yellow potatoes stick. Yes. They, are, they are kind of gluey, so. And I'm having watered down apple juice. Nice. So what I'm doing now is just mashing potatoes with a fork. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you mash it very well without leaving any lumps. And that's how you do it. Like that. Nice. It's a nice. It's a gluten-free pizza with yeah. mushrooms. And real cheese? And real cheese, yes. You know, sometimes this gluten-free vegan this is or, not vegan. Yeah, but I was saying that uh, sometimes it's very... These kind of categories can uh, confuse people. And uh, for instance, sometimes I think about, okay, gluten-free, but it does it have... But is it vegan? Sometimes it's gluten-free, vegan, and everything, you know? Which okay. must taste awful. Actually, I've had... Uh, no, I had vegan pizzas, and they were good. But they weren't gluten free and vegan, I didn't know about that. At the same time, they weren't you want some time. flavor. <laughs> no, but I love the taste of this um, gluten free crust. This is from Pizza Nova. You know what? I just realized that uh, by doing this, I'm moving the camera, I think. Because I'm moving the whole table. That's why maybe it's a good it's okay. idea. It's okay? I put the microphone on something soft for that reason. Yeah, but what about the image? I'll cut it out. <laughs> The whole thing? I mean, whatever. I'll use whatever's usable. Okay, let me get a slice. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day because I've been kind of depressed. Why? It looks good. Well, I've been depressed because of many things. <laughs> okay. But, mm. Is it good? It's so good. Oh, okay, I think it's... Uh, it's ready? Yeah, I think it's quite sure. Yeah. It's this kind of, uh, you know, consistency. Well, I mean, I, it's like I, mashed I, I hope everybody out there knows what mashed potatoes look like. <laughs> anyway, so according to this like, kind of, you know, I used one large potatoes and one small potato. So I think I'm going to put one cup of this flour and fill it out because oh. no i don't have the exact recipe sometimes i eyeball it and i feel it to the consistency if it's too potatoy or if it's not enough flour so i add more flour so i'm just adding this did you put salt and i'm gonna put it now mm -hmm. i put usually one teaspoon of salt boom and that's it. It's such a simple recipe. Super simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So usually it's done with the regular flour. Yeah. So all you did is replace the regular flour with gluten-free flour. Exactly. And uh, to be honest, I prefer, even if I wasn't gluten intolerant, I think that after having tasted this version, mm -hmm. I would go for this version. Because the, um, the wheat flour makes gnocchi so, so heavy, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I so would agree with that, actually. It's such a... It's an interesting gummy kind of consistency yeah. of this flour. And it grows on you. After a few bites, you're like, mmm, I want more, I want more. Yeah. And it, it, yeah, and it's very light. It feels light. You mm -hmm. can eat a lot. So at this point, I cannot use the fork anymore. So I have to do it with my hand. So you're saying you prefer the gluten-free version of that? Mm -hmm. And actually... I prefer the gluten-free ver version of this pizza. Mm -hmm. I got it regular last time. Yeah. Like with regular crust. Yeah. And it was just so doughy and so heavy. Yeah. I didn't like it. This is so light. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. It's kind of, it's, uh it's coming together? Yeah, it takes some uh, some more time because mm. the more it absorbs the flour, the more I can actually see if it's too potatoy. Actually, yeah, I can feel it now. Is it's it too potatoy? Yeah. How do you know it's sticky? Uh, it's kind of potatoy. Okay. It, it should be smoother. Should mm. feel like uh, you can uh, you know work it without it without it attaching too much on your skin. So, and I'm going to proceed to put uh, just a little bit more flour, not the entire cup. I would say... A quarter? A quarter, yes. Yeah. So, it, oh, it, it's with mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I didn't put olives because it's too salty. You know, it's been a long time I haven't made the cauliflower crust pizza. Mm -hmm. That's right. After, um, ever since actually Victor made it, remember? Mm -hmm. You can insert. <laughs> no, I don't want to edit. Oh, okay. I'll put the link for Victor making that cauliflower pizza, if anybody missed that. It's also gluten free. No, I can't edit that much during Vlogmas. I'll lose my mind. I'm already kind of losing it, to be honest. Because <laughs> coming up with a video every single day is like... I don't know. Yeah, but why did you... Yeah, I noticed uh, that you're being a bit distressed, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Last night I had my first thoughts of... It's good. Am I going to quit it? Like, am I going to be able to finish successfully? But... This is the first time I see you actually um, imposing something on yourself just because you, you know, you want to, yeah, you just want to stick to it, which is a good thing. But at I the wanted same to time, challenge myself. Yeah, I can I see that. To, also, I wanted to have something to do in December because if not, it gets really depressing. Okay. After. So this is the oh, the dough. It's quite good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just grab this fork. Do you need this? I do. Oh, okay. It's like that. Okay. Mm. So, do you wanna show mm, the showing. size? Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Let me show just one. And you cut. But I need something to put them on. Mm. So you, you take the fork and you roll on it. And it's so like that. So it has this nice shape. You can, you know, it's like carving inside, but very gently.
So if it's a bit sticky, you grab some flour and you just, you know, put it around. So it's easier to a kind of, uh, you know, manage them, manage the dough. Mm. So you said you weren't feeling like the Christmas spirit this year. Um, not at all. I don't think there is any Christmas spirit with all this COVID thingy. <laughs> Why? What's different? We usually stay at home anyway. It's true, but um, I don't feel it. Even if I stay home, I kind of feel the energy around what's going on, hmm. you know. Make it you like don't that. have to crouch, you're okay. It's okay if it cuts it a little bit. Welcome to P's cooking show with the camera a bit too close to Peace. the action. Cooking and exercise show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you have to squat. This is my squatting exercise as I'm making <laughs> gnocchi. <laughs> Multitasking. Oh. Let me see, maybe I did it anyway. It's a thing, of course. I never do. I always forget to put the water bottle. We've been watching The Crown. The Crown. How did you find it? Do you like it? It's a bit slow, but I like it. I really, I found, I found out that I really like uh, movies with a very good, um, Art direction, which mm -hmm. includes custom design, set design, and all that. I really enjoy that aspect. Yeah. Where, you know. I like how cozy, um, well, not cozy, but <laughs> I like the in interior of the palace yeah. and stuff. Actually, it's not cozy at all. It's kind of intimidating, but... Oh, yeah? I mean, it's not cozy. There's such large rooms, and it is pretty large. And uh, so we were discussing and, and understanding how do they clean the carpets. You were that's my thing. Yeah, the whole place is covered in carpets. <laughs> There's no way they can. I mean, back in the day, did they have carpet cleaning machines? No, nope. they had humans cleaning so machines. They weren't cleaning them, then they were just vacuuming. Yeah, that's gross. I mean, vacuum after the fifty. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they were doing before. I guess mm -hmm. vacuum cleaning was invented in the fifties or sixties. That's a good, uh, a, a good piece of information right but, there. Let's Google it. But they don't even take off their shoes and. Even the stairs are covered in carpets. They're bringing all the outside. Well, in know. Europe, usually you don't take off your shoes. It's something that I discovered really? here in Canada. Yeah. Oh my gosh. In Turkey, it's strict. Like, you gotta take your off your shoes. They even leave yeah. their shoes outside their doors. They won't put it yeah. inside. Like, you'll see a bunch of shoes outside people's, you know? No, Europe is not like that. And, um... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, it was a new thing for me when I came to Canada. So hmm. what do they do? And and that's when I started really fashioning my best socks ever. <laughs> when you go, you're a guest somewhere, but you have to take off your shoes. In Europe, what do they do? They just clean their floors a lot? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Although I remember my mom when she would receive guests, she had this thing where you can actually slide on. on. You don't have to take off your shoes, but uh, you slide on these things. First of all, for the noise, so that the people living downstairs are not bothered. What, are you, what do you mean, slide the, on? It's, it's, like, um, it's almost like slippers, mm -hmm. but uh, because you are still wearing your shoes, uh, there's no way it's like it's flat. You, you slide on these flat pieces of fabric, you know? I've never heard of that. Yeah. 
it, it was a thing. Hmm. My mom was like a maniac. She was cleaning constantly. Sorry, mom. She's actually um, a huge fan of this channel. But she doesn't understand English. She said, oh, you were sitting there and you were talking and talking. Oh, I don't like that. I like it when you do the vlog and you go around. And I see, the, I saw the apartment and so this. I saw that you bought this and blah, blah, blah. And then sometimes, you know, she comes up and she said, oh, you told me that uh, you had to go somewhere yesterday. But, uh, but you stayed home because I watched the video. And I go, mom, that was film two days ago and that's why we you know and uh, she said oh you lied to me you know <laughs> and then she realized that it's not happening that moment you know or that day you know wait how can, how can i say hi hi to your mom how you know, like uh you can, you can say you can say ciao maria is no i meant like oh how do you say like nonna or mama or oh how mama. Do you say how do you like say it to your mother-in-law Oh, usually the you know when uh, there is a the relationship becomes official, uh, then the parents-in-laws are called mama and papa the same as uh, as you become like a daughter. So we're them. not official. I mean, even the fact that we've been together for so many years it makes it kind of official. Ciao, it mama it. di Paola. <laughs> Is that right? There you go. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't know Italian. But you can Come say it's uh, Yeah. Okay. How are you? Oh. Oh, she's not doing so well. Like she, oh, sure. I mean, in a way that she's stuck with this COVID. She's old. She's stuck in the countryside house and with my father. And my father started, you know, having the symptoms of dementia. Uh, like this was like two years ago, but now it's getting worse and worse. So it's very difficult for her to just be stuck with him. And um, yeah, so we tend to speak on the uh, on WhatsApp once every other day, I would say, mm -hmm. or sometimes even once every two days. And yeah, so that you know. She can talk to somebody else, but she has a circle of friends and relatives she talks to, so yeah. she keeps herself uh, busy in a way just to escape that reality. Yeah, she was very upset that we couldn't go to Italy, so that was um, mm -hmm. where well, she understood how things, you know. Well, actually, she said, I was surprised if you had actually come here. You know, that they will have let you. Um, yeah. yeah. So. It's just not possible right now. This makes up for a, for a full plate. Oh, this is one plate? Yeah. I thought it was more than that. Good thing I ordered the pizza, huh? <laughs> no, because I didn't have any more uh, yellow potatoes. I'm doing it oh. almost. And you didn't tell me. <laughs> no, really, it was a good. I would have shared. It was a good decision. Yeah. So you're boiling water. Yeah. Do you put salt in the water? Is it yeah. like pasta water? I I put salt. Yes. Do you put anything else in the water? Yeah, I put just a little bit of uh, oil so that it uh, the gnocchi don't uh, attach to each other. Like a tablespoon. Yeah. Just really, really a little, tiny little bit. A splash of olive oil. So, and then I put the gnocchi uh, in the boiling water and I wait until they come up on the surface and I leave it for about one minute or even two minutes and then it's ready. And I put them in the pesto. I love gnocchi and pesto, sometimes you can have Gnocchi and ragu, but my favorite, favorite combination is for sure gnocchi with pesto. Paula? Yeah? What was gnocca? Uh, gnocca is, um, it means a, a beautiful girl in Italian. It's a Italian expression. Can you <laughs> it say it? Beautiful girl. 
And uh, well, gnocca indicates the um, female private part <laughs> in uh, northern Italy. So, yeah. How do you say it? Gnocca. No, the sentence. Una bella gnocca. <laughs> Be careful. I know. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Don't burn yourself. Okay. You know what I do when I take a poo and I don't want the water to splash? What? <laughs> That's disgusting. Do you have a technique? I have a technique. I don't want to know. No, you I'm, just put some toilet I'm, paper on the water. I'm like, making food. <laughs> I'm not talking about... No, that, but it uh, splashed and it reminded me of that. You just put like a, a piece of toilet paper just flat, flat on the water. Just one piece is enough and then it doesn't splash. Okay, look how it's coming up. Okay. <laughs> He has to go like shh. No, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. put some olive oil in the I, I like to put some more olive oil. Oh yeah, I do that too. Even in tomato sauce. Like store bought mm. tomato sauce? Yeah. They put so little oil. I have to put more. I know. I think it's because it's more more expensive. Exactly. The olive oil, right? Yeah. Yeah. And usually they don't have this doesn't have like it's very hard to find real pesto with olive oil. Really? It always has some flour. That's mm -hmm. awful. Okay, look at this, the foam. How do you okay, know when it, if uh, they're ready? It becomes like that. Let's start doing this. It's ready? Kind of, yeah. Yeah? Sure, I should leave it like for... One minute when it's three forty four. Mm. Just a little more. Maybe a little spoon for that one. No. Let's do it like that. Mm, that's a lot. It's salty. So pecorino. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Gnocchi <laughs> tutorial. Mm -hmm. And let us know if you try it and how you liked it because it's it's a bit different yeah. than the regular one. Yep. Yeah. But it's nice. It's a different thing. It's its own thing. Mm. I guess see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.